All right, what is going on guys? Um, today I'm gonna show you how to get a unique IP on the same uh, web host. Uh, so pretty much what you can do is you can scale up as many rank and rents or in this, or in my own use case, I used to scale up PBNs this way um, for cheap. So you can host like a hundred sites for $10 a month, all with unique IPs. But um, I did eventually get clapped because this method is uh, has a lot of footprints, but it's good to have in your arsenal and it's good to keep in the back of your mind. Uh, but first, as always, got to get on that creatine. I'm, I apologize to everyone who's uh, expecting a bit more from me today. I've been putting this one in my back pocket for days like this. I went out drinking, went out late. I have a hair appointment in about 50 minutes, so I got to rush this episode out. Here we go. All right, let's go. All right, so yesterday we made $10,166 in total revenue. Amazon at $56.10, Mediavine at $32.50, FanFuel and Cell Health at $284, and OnlyFans at about $1,013. Pretty good day. Let's take a look at the numbers. All right, before we get started on the numbers, <clears throat> do you mind just commenting unique IPs for the YouTube algorithm? I don't know just please um anyways so yesterday we only did well huge drop yesterday 103.9k in ordered revenue it's 26 so i just checked um actually historically speaking every friday there's a little drop in revenue so if you take a look at the 19th it's 91k very interesting though i i should have spotted this earlier now that i think about it um but yeah so this is the mini drop we'll take it the mini drop is equivalent to my highs in November, December. So I'm not here to complain. Things are looking good. Let's take a look at Levanta. So clicks are little drop, but it's fine. Um, commissions are still high, sky high. 109, sorry, 105 in dollars in January 25th. Um, if you guys have been watching constantly, there's a little drop two days uh <clears throat> Before, but uh, these drops are normal because they're not fully uh, processed yet. Um, but yeah, let's get to the tip of the day. All right, guys. Um, if you want access to this sheet, by the way, and all my show notes from before, please sign up <clears throat> for the first link in the description. Well, I think second, because the first link will be my rank and rent and affiliate site templates, which uh, I'm actually taking offline uh, tomorrow. So get it, please. Um, if you guys want it, uh, I'd this is just to help people with um, their partnerships. If you guys don't want it, uh, fine. Uh, but we sold a lot of copies of it, so can't complain. Um, yeah, so I'm taking it offline tomorrow. So sign, uh, buy it if you need it. You get $400 back if you take action. And uh, anyways, uh, yeah, to get the sheet, sign up for the second link in the description. So to get a unique IP. So a lot of people are like, <clears throat> Jackie, you shouldn't host your um, rank and rents all in the same uh, hosting. So I thought, I was like, yeah, I'm too lazy. Um, I don't really want to pay f for a separate host each time. Uh, especially if you're not doing anything sketchy. Rank and rents aren't type, uh, considered black hat, but hosting all in the same domain is, you know, kind of kind of sketchy. Uh, I think Google wouldn't love that. So the cheapest way to get a unique IP on the same host is Cloudflare. Um, I don't know how many people know this, but... If you use Cloudflare on your site and you run the traffic through, so let's take a look at Simple Sound Guide right here. Um, if you the 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 host is this record, so ending in eight seven, and if it's considered proxy and you check it on what my DNS dot net, you'll see it's a separate IP. It's different, completely different, and you'll notice that every single time you run a new site through Cloudflare, it'll be a unique IP. So what does this mean? This means um, with this knowledge, you can scale up to like, let's say a hundred, you can host a hundred domains on Cloudways for $10 a month and have unique IPs for each one, which is insane, right? I used to use this for like <laughs> uh, low effort PBN hosting, quote unquote, uh, because if you don't want to pay for unique, like, you know, those PBN hosts, then you can do this. Um, 
But a couple notes is I did get clapped for it. So my host, <clears throat> sorry, I had like 50 sites get de-indexed and manually penalized <clears throat> from this method. And it's because I was super lazy. So what that means is if you, uh, if you, 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 if you run every single site through the same Cloudflare account, there's a footprint, meaning the name servers will be the same each time. So it's very easy for Google to track. Oh yeah. It's like, okay. Name server equals <clears throat> Jackie dot Cloudflare. Um, then the index that it's very easy to find, but to overcome this issue that, or my old clapping, what you could do is actually, if you sign up for a new Cloudflare flare account for each domain, then not only will the IP be unique, but the name servers will also be unique. Um, but, uh, yeah. Once again, if you have like a hundred PBNs all on Cloudflare, it's um, it's a what's it called? It's a footprint. So be careful with that. Uh, this is probably just for you know rank and rents. Uh, don't don't go too black hat. But this is how I could you know utilize my black hat quote unquote techniques into something white hat like rank and rents. Um, but yeah, if you guys found this useful today, please uh, let me know in the comment section below by you know just commenting unique IP for the YouTube algorithm. Um, yeah, it would really, really help. And I'm going to answer five minutes of questions. Now, if you guys have any questions on today's episode, please drop them in the comment section below. I'll get them tomorrow. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's do it. All right. First question is how to recover from helpful content update. Do you think link building is one of the keys? Um, my answer to that is no link building will not recover your helpful content update penalty. Um, what would I do in this case? Uh, probably I would put it in the back burner. I have not seen a site recover completely from helpful content update. If you guys have any examples of recoveries, please send them over to me. I would like to uh, an analyze it. I have yet to see anyone recover it. So careful with people selling you recovery services. I have not seen any examples of it just yet. Uh, number two, how do you find tenants for rank and rent? What's your starting price pricing plan? Um, how do I find it? Cold email. I've done an, uh, I've done an episode on that. What's your starting price plan? You know, I, I, I typically wouldn't get out of bed for under $500 a month. Uh, so I, I would probably start there. Um, you could drop them to 250, 100, depending on your niche. It really depends on the niche, right? And how difficult the keyword is. If it's something like simple, you could even start off at a hundred bucks, you know, just get the revenue going and then you can boot them. You can, after you sign up one, you can be like, reach out to the competitor. It's like, yo, uh, you want this for 200, go on, so on and so forth. But, um, remember to not burn any bridges. Do you also plan for affiliate with rank and rent? Uh, you mean rank and rent sites and have like affiliate content on there? Uh, no. How's your media vine blogs? Did they get hit by HCU or later upstates? No, um, they did not get hit, but, uh, it's just Q1 is lower RPMs. Number five, how are you preparing your blogs to get safe by next Google updates? Um, I don't think too much about Google updates. I'm not wor worried about them. I just keep on trucking. So I try to milk every site as much as possible before the next update. And if we survive, we live to see another day. We keep on pumping. Uh, some of these questions are decent, uh, but let's try to keep... Um, questions to uh shit i haven't answered before in videos nice sop how to get high dr domains for a link form boosting dr okay great thanks for the comment i got a reply from a dr 70 news website let's fucking go ryan and they may be interested in a partnership fucking let's go what niche category listicle articles would you start with um it's hard to say just scrape a lot of keywords um, depending on which category you have high affiliate commissions with, let, yeah. Um, and Ryan, if you want to tackle it together after you sell them, let me know, DM me, we can work something out. Um, as you can see, my <coughs> Amazon associate account has way higher commissions, four to five times higher than normal rates. So we can work together on this. RV says boosting DR, what are your Australian dates. Um, I'm leaving in two days for Australia and, uh, we are staying there for five weeks. Um, we're doing Sydney, 
Brisbane, Melbourne, and uh, Perth. So, yeah, if you guys are in any of those cities, let me know. Oh, yeah, and if you guys are haven't followed me on Twitter, please follow me there. We're going to do some um, events. So, I think in Melbourne, we'll do a meetup, and we'll do uh, a meetup in Saigon. So, uh, yeah, it's limited to 30 people in Saigon. Melbourne, I'm not sure yet. But uh, yeah, it'll be probably a coffee meet on Melbourne and in Saigon, it'll be like a drinks thing at night, um, limited to 30 people. If you guys want in, let me know. It'll be a free event, but please don't RSVP if you're not there. All right. Um, good. Okay. Oakman comment says, love these link farm videos. Please continue. I would like to know more about how the, to price guest posts in different niches, how to also how to inflate traffic numbers in H, uh, Hrefs. Won't link, won't the link agencies reaching out to you before buying backlinks care if they see your site went from DR zero to forty in a month? Um, yes, they would care, but there's a lot of shitty uh, link agencies out there who don't check for this. So, um, yeah, uh, Brucey, Bruce says, from my experience, the majority of them wouldn't care since the most agency goal is to milk the client, not actually diver- deliver rankings. Exactly. So they just split, spit bullshit about how SEO takes a long time. Yes. Um, that is correct. That's pretty much it. So if you guys just go read the comment, guys, um, this is exactly no, no link agencies care. Um, we, we try to filter out a lot of uh, link farms, but it's tough. It's tough. I do catch some uh, here and there, but uh, we try to remove them when possible. All right, guys. Um, out of time. If you guys liked today's episode, remember to like the video. Please subscribe, by the way. We're almost at 10K. Please help me get there. Um, but yeah, I'll chat with you guys tomorrow. Have a good one, guys.